Let's go inside. Come on then. Barnabas. Ah, there you are. Come on. Let's go inside. So now that we have Mary, Joseph, Donkey and Barnabas safely here at the vicarage, we're ready to hear the story of the first Christmas. We're going to hear it in three parts and along the way we're going to pause and sing some carols and build our own crib here at the vicarage. So if you've got your figures ready with you at home then we can build our cribs together. So the first part of the story is an angel visiting Mary. One day, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit a young girl named Mary. She lived in the town of Nazareth in Israel. Mary was a kind and thoughtful girl and she loved God with all her heart. She also loved Joseph the carpenter, the man she was going to marry. Mary was very surprised when Gabriel appeared, but he said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has sent me to ask you a very important question. Gabriel's voice was beautiful and it made Mary feel better just listening to it. Mary, God knows what a good and gentle person you are. His son needs to come to show the people, the world, how much God loves you all and you should love one another. He's the saviour of the world. The one the prophet wrote about God is sending his son as a baby and would like you to be his mother. Mary was very puzzled and wondered what Joseph would think about her having a baby. But she thought about how much the world needed God's love. So she took a deep breath and said, Tell God that I will do whatever he needs me to. Gabriel smiled and said, Thank you, Mary. You might want to go and visit your cousin, Elizabeth, because although she is... She's quite old. She's having a baby too. Your baby is to be called Jesus and Elizabeth will name her son John. And with that, Gabriel was gone. As soon as she could, Mary went to see her cousin Elizabeth, whose baby gained again. Enormous kick as soon as Mary stepped into the room. Both women laughed and thanked God for the babies they were going to have. Back in Nazareth, Joseph was worried by the news of Mary's pregnancy. He wasn't sure how to feel, but one night, Gabriel came and spoke to him. Don't be afraid, Joseph. God knows that you are a good and kind man and has chosen you to be a father to Jesus here on earth. You love Mary and she loves you. She and Jesus will need you to look after them. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus wanted more money. He made a new law that everyone had to go back to their homes and be put on a tax list there. Joseph was worried. I'm sorry, Mary, we'll have to go to Bethlehem because that's where my family come from, but you are so close to having the baby, it's not going to be easy for you. It's a long journey. Mary said, don't worry, Joseph, the donkey will carry me. You may get sore feet, though walking all the way. So they set off to Bethlehem. It took them three days, and although the donkey tried to walk gently, it was still a bumpy and uncomfortable ride for Mary. So many people had come to put their name on the list at Bethlehem that there was nowhere for Mary and Joseph to stay except a smelly stable that animals slept in.
So they've arrived here in Bethlehem. So we need to put Mary, Joseph and Donkey into the stable. Have you got yours at home? Please join me. Now we're ready for the most exciting part of the Christmas story. Jesus is about to be born. That night, baby Jesus, the promised saviour, was born in a stable in Bethlehem. A very bright star appeared in the sky right above the place where he was born. Joseph and Mary called the baby Jesus just like the angel Gabriel told, had told them. They wrapped him in a soft linen cloth and made him a bed in a manger box of hay. And now Jesus has been born, so we need to put Jesus into our stable. Have you got your figure of Jesus? Please join me. And now the shepherds are in for a big surprise. On the night that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some shepherds were staying on the fields nearby. There were some sitting down quietly watching their sheep to make sure that they were safe. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with a very bright light, and the glory of God shone all around them. The shepherds were very frightened. Then an angel appeared and spoke to them. Don't be afraid, he said. When you hear the good news, I have been sent to tell you, you are going to be so happy. The Saviour has been born today, over there in Bethlehem. He is Christ the Lord and he is God's gift to you. When you find a baby wrapped in soft linen cloth, lying in a manger, bed of hay, then you will know that this is true. Then the light sky was filled with hundreds more angels who were praising and thanking God, saying, Glory to God in heaven, peace, kindness, and the Lord to shed throughout the world. The shepherds hurried to Bethlehem and searched until they found baby Jesus. 
wrapped in soft linen and wrapped in a manger bed of hay, just like the angel had said. After they had left, the shepherds told everyone they met about the angels and their wonderful news. The Saviour had promised Messiah had come at last. So they have had a big surprise, haven't they? So now it's time for us to put our shepherds and animals into our stable. If you've got your shepherds and any animals you've got, please join me. Come on Barnabas, here we are, here we go, in the stable, well done. Well I think they're all having a lovely celebration now in the stable, I think it's time for us to sing, come and join the celebration.
we're coming now to the end of our time together. So a big thank you to all of our children from Yellen Primary School and our Junior Church for retelling the Christmas story so beautifully. And a thank you to Zoe for behaving so well during our time together. I'm going to finish now with a final prayer. This Christmas, may we have the joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the giving hearts of the wise men. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest on each one of us. Amen. And now I'm going to give the final word to one of the children from our junior church. At Christmas time, we still remember God's gift to us all. I wish you a very happy Christmas and make sure you sleep well tonight, ready for a very special day tomorrow.